Hey guys, what's going on? Oh my god, this person's been calling me non-stop. Give me one second, guys. I'm so sorry. Hello? What's your favorite scary movie? Oh, well, that's easy. It's The Exorcist. That's actually pretty good. Okay, let me ask you. What's your favorite horror film or scary movie or whatever? The Fanatic. Wait, hold on a second. The Fanatic? Yeah. <clears throat> So Scream or Scream 5, I'm just going to call it Scream 5 because it's Scream 5. Scream 5 is the fifth installment of the Scream franchise. This one, unfortunately, not being directed by Wes Craven because, as you all know, he tragically passed away in 2015, to which I still cannot believe he's gone. This one being directed by the directors of Ready or Not. Scream 5 takes place after the events of Scream 4. There's a brand new group of friends, along with the return of Courtney Cox, Neve Campbell, and David Arquette, and, as you all can imagine, Ghostface is back and he's more brutal than ever. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Scream. Excellent! The original Scream is one of my favorite horror films of all time. The sequels, especially 3, which we don't talk about Scream 3, have not come close to topping the greatness of the original film is, but I will say Scream 2 is a great sequel. I will say this about Scream 4, Scream 4 is a great time. Again, not as good as Scream 2 or Scream 1, but I thought it was a nice return to form. I couldn't see Scream coming back in in any way honest without Wes Craven being involved because Wes Craven made Scream. I mean, Ghostface is associated with Scream, but Wes Craven is the reason why Scream is so good in the first place. The thought of having a Scream film without having Wes Craven involved just seemed not only blasphemous, but it just seemed like just why even do it without the original creator? When I found out that Scream 5 was happening, I just thought, no, this is just going to be a cash grab. Until I found out it was from the directors of Ready or not and ready or not is an awesome black comedy horror film i wasn't highly anticipating scream 5 or scream whatever help whatever you want to call it in all honesty i had heard some people saying it was the best film since the original which got me very excited so i walked in very excited and i'm happy to say guys as a huge fan of the original film and as a big fan of wes craven this was a really really good film especially for a fifth movie which is unheard of performances wise i thought for the most part the performances were great jack quaid i thought was really really good as the main boyfriend of the main character of the film i like where he went with his character i can't really say too much about certain characters because of you know spoilers sake but i thought jack quaid was great the main character i think melissa barrera i think that's her name who plays sarah carpenter to which of course, if you're a horror fan, you should know what that's referencing right there. Melissa Brad was a standout in the film, and not to mention she has some great scenes and some great one-liners in there as well. Dev Campbell is great, but she wasn't a standout, and while Courtney Cox was in the movie, she is also terrific. David Arquette, I absolutely loved him in this movie. He portrays Dewey in this movie as a guy that has a lot of demons, and he's still getting over his past. And where David Arquette took Dewey this time around... I absolutely loved and seeing him come back with oh my I want to say this but I can't because of spoilers once again but let me say this how they introduced him brought a big smile on my face Jessica Ortega as Tara I absolutely loved her in this film from the opening sequence with her phone call with Ghostface to which I'll get into Ghostface later on Jessica Ortega is a star in this film and she has a couple of sequences where she really brings out the emotion one part almost got me like I I was actually getting pretty emotional with Jessica Ortega and not to mention the connection that she has with her sister in this film was besides Ghostface my favorite aspect of the entire movie and one of my favorite aspects about this movie is Ghostface. Ghostface in this movie is as brutal and as savage as he ever has been and the opening sequence Ghostface is brutal I mean the opening sequence has a part that literally had me going Ugh! props the directors of ready or not for making ghostface as brutal as he ever has been and i'm pretty sure it's the original guy who plays ghostface i think it's roger conrad i'll put his name here i'm so sorry because 
the guy who voices Ghostface is iconic to say the least. One of my favorite aspects about Scream, as it always has been throughout the entire franchise, is once again how meta this movie is. The Scream movies are not just great slasher films, but it's a great meta commentary on horror films. What I loved about this Scream in particular was not only it was a great meta on certain horror films in today's day and age, but how it deals with toxic fandom. One of my favorite scenes in this movie is when it deals with a certain relative of an original character and they say requels happen, which I loved and the discussion they had about this thing got me thinking about another franchise and where how had has gone with the fans. I feel like that it works for the most part this time around, which again I'll get into later on. The most important question about this movie is this. Is it scary? Well, actually with this movie there's two important questions, but the first one is, is it scary? It is and it isn't. I thought the directors of Ready or Not really did have a good sense of tension, intensity, and there are some really good scares in this movie. One of the things I was really worried about was that since it was new directors taking this on was that, that they wouldn't honor the legacy that Wes Craven left behind. What I absolutely loved was not only how they approach this film, but it's absolutely clear that not only they love the original film, but they made this film partly as an homage to not only what Wes Craven left behind as a legacy, but as an homage to Wes Craven himself. For a film that is almost two hours long, it doesn't even feel like that. It's constantly entertaining, it has some very intense sequences, and the story I was pretty in for the most part. Well, that's just fucking great! I had heard many people, like I had mentioned earlier, that this was the best Scream film since the original. I don't quite agree with that. For me, the second best Scream is Scream 2, but I will say this, this is still a damn good film with some issues though. There's a couple of characters that, what do you see them and you just think, yeah, you're just simply there to be stabbed by Ghostface, aren't you? And there are a couple of characters that simply are there just to not only just to be stabbed by him, but you can just tell they're just gonna die later on in the film. Besides it being a slasher film series, Scream is a whodunit, and it's a very well-done whodunit franchise. When it came to the whodunit aspect of this film, no lie, I guessed who it was within 20 minutes. As soon as a line of dialogue was said, I just thought, yeah, that person's probably it. Something that I did appreciate is that how this film does poke fun at certain trends that they do in horror films. It's not only back in the day, but today as well. The meta aspect this time around goes to the film's detriment, and I'm gonna give you one clear example. In the opening sequence, they poke fun at something that horror films do, especially nowadays, which I cannot stand. They poke fun at the certain aspect, only for them to do that multiple times throughout this movie. I applaud you guys for poking fun at this, but that does not give you a free pass to do that thing you're making fun of. One aspect I absolutely hate about this film, the false alarm jump scares. There are some fun and tension filled sequences, but a lot of the time, they lead up to a false alarm jump scare. Once again, just because you're poking fun at this certain thing does not give you a pass to do this thing. When it came to the actual scares itself, I didn't think this Scream was particularly scary. I actually did find Scream 5 in some aspects kind of predictable. And here we go. So overall, did I find that Scream 5 was as good or if not better than the original film? No. However, at the same time, not only is Scream 5 a damn good fifth entry for a horror franchise, which is unheard of, but not to mention as well, not only is it just a good Scream film, it's also a very good tribute film, and it's just also just a great love letter to Wes Craven himself. All in all, I'm gonna give Scream 5, or tw Scream 2022, a 3.75 out of 5. This movie is just a really good time, even if it's not as good as the original film, but it's just a good Scream film period. So comment down below and let me know, have you guys seen Scream or Scream 5, which you all think? Where do you think this ranks upon your Scream ranking? Let me know below. I hope you all enjoyed my review of Scream 5 or Scream 2022. If so, push that like button, also subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for my latest video goes live. If you guys want to see any of my previous two videos, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, until my next review goes live, I will see you all next time.